So I've got this drawing and I need somebody to review it. The problem is that that person is, you know, not in my building. They're a client. So it's, it's somebody who doesn't have access to my network. They don't have AutoCAD or a CAD system, but yet they want to view the progress of what I'm working on. So I could create a PDF. I could create a DWF. I could share information in, in various methods, or I can use the new shared views function. So I'm going to select shared views, which is going to launch the new shared views palette. Now I have to be logged into my A360 account as a requirement of that. Once I'm logged in, the shared view palette shows me all my active views. So views will stay active for 30 days, unless of course you go in there and you extend them, which will just add on another 30 days, or you delete them. Now the advantage to delete them is not only does it remove it from your palette, but if you've shared that view with other people, they'll no longer be able to access it. So it's really a way to you know, get rid of that early. So you don't have to wait for the 30 days, you can, you can get rid of that. So what I wanna do is I wanna create a new shared view of this drawing. So I'm gonna select the new shared view option. I'm just gonna call this the gripper. So we'll say gripper. And I'm really only interested in sharing the current view. So whatever my current view is, so in this case it's small space, so it's going to generate a view of the extents of the visible geometry. If this was a layout, then it would generate you know, a layout view of it. Or I could say, let's share the model in all layout views, and then I just get everything in my view. Now, there is no 3D objects in this view, but it does give you the ability to say only 2D views only. And I do have the option whether I want to include object properties. What that means is when the recipient of my view is looking at the drawing, they pick on objects, they will see the object properties. So the layer, the color, the length, the area, that information will be available. So it's up to you whether you want to include that information or not. So now that I've specified how I want this to look, I'm going to click share. It's just going to give me a little prompt here that it's going to process this in the background. So what this allows me to do is it allows me to continue working within AutoCAD and this background process as we can see in the corner here is taking care of generating the graphics that are required and pumping that up to the cloud. So this does utilize the Autodesk Viewer, which is a free viewer, and it's only publishing a graphical representation of the model. So we can see by the bubble notification that it's now complete. So I'll click in the view and browser. So the person on the other end will not be able to download the drawing. They won't be able to edit the drawing and they're limited to really the details that you provide. So if you've turned off a bunch of layers, then that information is not included. If you didn't enable the option to see the object properties, then they won't be able to access those properties. So notice in the view here, I have the ability to pan and zoom. I have the ability to see layers and turn layers off and on. So these layers were currently visible when I published the view. So I have that option to turn those off and on with my layers palette. I have options to pick properties because I included that information. So as I pick on an object, then the, then the property palette within the viewer shows me that information. Notice down at the bottom here, I'm able to select measure. So I can select points and pull out measurements on the view. So I'm able to apply those measurements and, and get that information both in a linear distance, angles, areas, that information is all available to me. I have the ability to mark it up. So perhaps I'm concerned about this area. So let's draw a markup. And notice I have the option to do pencils. I can say arrows. I can do clouds around particular areas. I can add text. I can change the colors and the weights. I can undo and redo. And once I get my markups completed, I select save. And what it's gonna do is it's going to publish that kind of as a snapshot. So it's this permanent, it's this markup that's applied to it. So we could have some contents and some names. I can also apply a kind of generic comment. So perhaps I'm you know concerned about the function and I'll post that and apply that. So me not having access to AutoCAD or any CAD system, I can pan and zoom, I can do some measuring, I can do some markups, and I can you know, kind of gather this information and, and make some notes and, and apply those notes on here. 
Now, what the person on the other end is going to require, so when you want to share this, is you need to do a shared link. So this is how you get that link to that other person, is you send them a link, and whoever has that link has access to this information. So remember, I applied some comments. What I want to do now is I want to go back to my AutoCAD, and I'm going to do a refresh because I want to grab that information. And now I can see is that it's updated with those comments. So I can see the information that's been applied. Here's my general note with you know, concern about the function, and there's my markup. Now once I'm done with a markup, I have the option to resolve it. The idea is I've completed it, so let's remove it. And then I can reply back. You know, maybe I want to say, what do you mean? And then I can post that. So me as the designer, I never have to leave AutoCAD. I can publish a view, I can grab the link and share the link, I can refresh and get the comments down so I can see the comments and I can you know, reply to them. So me as the designer, I never have to leave AutoCAD and I can get that information. The collaborator, the, the recipient of my link, they never have to go into AutoCAD. They have access to the information, they can pan, zoom, they can mark up, they can do what they wanna do, and it creates this collaborative environment hence why it's in the collaborate tab. So with shared views, we've got this great ability to share content, share views, um, really with everyone and anyone.